I don't want to say that the bakery is an experiment, but it's more like, it's more like saying, why not? Why not do it right? Stefan Sanders and I'm a baker. I run the Wide Awake Bakery. My name is David McGinnis and I am a baker at the Wide Awake Bakery. A lot of people think bread making must be incredibly boring. So there was this first year where people come stop by the bakery and they say, can you, st you know, how's it going, man? And they look at you with this way like, like how's your mental health, you know? And um, kind of figuring that at some point I'd be climbing the walls because it wasn't that exciting and every day I have to do the same thing over and over again. But actually, to me, there's a real pleasure in that. It goes back to this issue of practice where this thing of getting deeper and deeper into something and figuring out the, the minutia of it and how it feels. And there's always a kind of a sweet spot when you really just, just nail it. You're learning a dance and you're thinking about the steps all the time and what, what step am I going to do next and you're so conscious of like the, the conscious of the dance you're thinking about what you're going to be doing what you're supposed to be doing and when you learn the dance you just kind of do it you don't have to think about it anymore and I think that once you learn it and once you can just do it without being so conscious of it then you really start to become it or it starts to become you in a new kind of way and I think you can really thrive within those within those boundaries you've, you've now learned it and you can now do something new within it you're working with these microbes that you can't see in partnership with them and you're trying to think you know what would they like like would they like it a little warmer you know and um, you're trying to make them happy and when do you have to get this bread out how strong is the flour this week and so you're trying to balance all these things so it just gets intellectually quite complex and then when the loaves finally get to that point of being ready to go into the oven, you, you've done all this very physical work and it sort of gets progressively finer until you're just putting that thing in. You take that little razor blade and you just say, and you're making that beautiful visual pattern. And then you've got to catch it when it's at its peak and you bring it out and it's just full of charisma. It's fabulous and it, it's a very whole project. Some objects suggest that the world is, is actually basically banal and kind of perfunctory and ho-hum. And they, they invite kind of indifference, I think is what those things do. And I think that other objects might suggest something more like that the world is, is full of grace and bounty and beauty. And they invite, instead of like indifference, something closer to love. I'm interested in making something that invites love as a response. fueled by, you know, this incredible energy around here. It's like a magic spot. People are so full of passion to make great food and to really change the way we look at the world right here, right, you know, from their own houses and in their own ground. That's so inspiring. So it's easy to get up every day and think, let's go stack some wood, man. We like that fire. It's not difficult. <laughs> 